In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys very important things that you should know before starting your fashion school journey. Since I did go to Instituto Marangoni myself, my tips will be related to that university. However, it can also apply to most fashion schools. I'll be talking to you guys about how to prep before joining the university, how to receive a first class honors, how to network, and I will also be talking to you guys about jobs. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Mariam and I create content about fashion and fitness and I would love for you to click the subscribe button down below. So I went to Instituto Marangoni here in London for my bachelor's and I received a first class honors in fashion business. Side note, August and September is the time when students like yourself are probably looking for student accommodations. Looking for a student accommodation can be a very daunting process, especially if you aren't familiar with the city that you're moving to. Amber is the platform that solves all of your problems student accommodation related. They give you free personal assistance when it comes to finding your student accommodation. On Amber, you can simply type in the name of your university and it will show you all the accommodations closest to your uni. You can even filter through things such as amenities. For example, not all student accommodations have gyms. So if that's something you're looking for, you can even filter through that. And you can also filter through the sizes of the rooms, for example, an ensuite room or a studio. Amber is currently operational in 100 plus cities in the world, including cities in Australia, multiple countries in Europe, like Germany and France and it's also in the US so it's not only operational in the UK on their website you can find out every single thing you can see whatever cities are operational in it's a very easy to use platform it works in three simple steps you start off by choosing your student accommodation you can filter through all the options high budget low budget or even room size and then you get your paperwork done which by the way is fully handled by Amber so you don't have to worry about that at all and finally your student accommodation will be booked and that's it, you can move in. Amber is there to help you. And when you click the link, you will be taken to this page here and all you'll have to do is type in your details and then you'll receive free personal assistance when it comes to finding your student accommodation. Amber will respond to all of your queries in one hour. Do not worry, Amber has a student-friendly policy in which they offer students 100% free cancellations when it comes to visa-related uncertainties. Amber really is a platform I wish I had when I was looking for student accommodations. It just makes your life 10 times easier. So make sure to click the link down below in the description box, get your free consultation and find your perfect student accommodation. Thank you so much to Amber for sponsoring today's video. Here's something interesting that you guys probably are not expecting about Marangoni. The more aesthetically pleasing your reports look, the better your grade will be. And uh, that tends to come as a shock to most people because traditionally at universities, it's just, you know, a plain black text on white paper type thing when it comes to submissions but like it's a bit different in fashion school of course they look at also what you actually put into the report but a big part of like what your grade is based on is how nice you make it look like in terms of aesthetics like you know what colors you use is it like consistent does it look good like does it look professional i mean it is the fashion industry so like it should come as no surprise that you know they do place importance on appearance so if you have zero experience when it comes to using software such as Photoshop or InDesign, it would actually be beneficial to you to, you know, sort of download the softwares and like get a feel of how to use each software because it's only going to like, you know, make you feel more familiar with the softwares because that is something we tend to use a lot at fashion school. With using Photoshop, for example, you can really create compelling mood boards. In fashion, something that's very important is to be able to communicate your aesthetic, communicate your designs and, you know, what you're trying to sell to people. And that tends to be done through mood boards. And mood boards is basically describing an aesthetic that you're trying to create. So that's basically what it is. Creating mood boards means that you need to know how to use software such as Photoshop So it's not like 100% necessary to be fully well versed in it But I mean it will help you at the university They will also teach you how to use these softwares But if you really want to you know be one step ahead and just like you know get a feel of the software It would help to just download it and you know play around with it and you know create your own mood boards to see where you're at right now Just have fun with it. I personally did not learn Photoshop before going to Marin 
in Goni. I kind of like just learned it over there. Depending on what course you do, they will teach you how to use these softwares. I know that in the fashion business course, in the fashion business and buying course, and even I think communications course, they do have a module where they teach you everything related to digital design. So don't worry, they will teach you at Marangoni. But if you were thinking of just be a little prepared and just you know have an idea of already how to create mood boards, it would be beneficial to learn how to use software such as Photoshop. And in terms of books and textbooks, we don't have that at Marangoni. Professors will teach you in the form of slides. So they will show you slides in class, which will later on be shared with you. And with every single course, or every single module actually professors will give you recommended reading but it's not like an important thing to buy i mean it's recommended you should but like it's optional if you think it's going to help you, you should get it but there's no set textbooks for each module or each course it's more so you know buying whatever the professor recommend you to buy and etc if i personally had to recommend any book it would be by the fashionary which is the fashion business manual it's just a nice basic book to have it's like a nice textbook especially if you're going to be studying studying fashion business I mean it just has everything in depth there you know in chapters it's always good to go back to even after you graduate I mean I still like reading that book now and now that I'm done graduating I mean it's good to go back to and another thing that will help you you know prep for Marangoni is to be aware of like you know what websites to read for example the business of fashion is a great website it, it always has updates on the fashion industry like what's going on you know what I mean because in class it tends to happen that professors will like you know ask you guys like, oh what's caught your eye these days like what's going on what's new in fashion it's good to like be well read in a way because it shows that you're putting in the extra effort most students have this goal of graduating with a first class honors and that is the highest grade you can get here in the UK the UK grading system is slightly different to the US system actually not just slightly it is quite different to the US system so it would be good to go over that before joining the university one of my best friends Lara whom I did become friends with at Marangoni filmed an entire video on on how to get a first class honors or actually how to graduate at the top of your class on her channel I will link that down below for you guys in case you guys want to check it out but in order to excel and really create your best work I think it comes down to a few points one of them being conducting thorough research it sounds vague and it sounds kind of obvious in a way but it is so important that you're conducting thorough primary and secondary research it was very common for me to go to flagship stores or even department stores and interview staff staff members just to get an understanding of certain customer demographics and all of that information would be used in reports. In all honesty, the better your primary research is, the better you'll be able to give reasoning as to, for example, why you want to implement a certain strategy in your report. You'll have to ensure that your reports are looking as credible as possible. So good and thorough research is one of the points. And the other is having good arguments for your side in the paper. Whenever you say something, you make a claim, etc. You, you always have to give good reasonings for it and it's good to cite the primary research you've done or even the secondary research for example the books that professors have recommended it's always good to cite the books professors recommend to you you should also give really good counter arguments for whatever claims you make and ensure that you propose solutions for every single potential problem you may come across just make sure that it looks like you've put in a lot of time and effort analyzing everything that you're claiming the goal is to be eloquent and analytical what i really like about the core fashion in business is that you really get the best of both worlds you're able to use the more analytical side of your brain when it comes to more businessy type stuff and at the same time you're also like you know using the more creative side of your brain when you're creating range plans or you know marketing plans and the last point the third point I want to share with you guys when it comes to you know getting a first class honors is something I already mentioned and it is report aesthetics do not underestimate how much a good aesthetic can help you I mean a Aesthetics count a lot in fashion school. The way you present something, how it's designed, how it's looking, the presentation matters a lot because the fashion industry, I mean, is visual. It is superficial in that way. So you have to keep that in mind when you're creating your reports. Even if you have the best research and your design isn't looking the best, it could impact your grades. So just keep that in mind. Aesthetics really do matter at fashion school. Ensuring I had good research, good arguments, and good aesthetics with every single report really and truly helped me get a first class honors and I really think that I can also help you too. Now no one really teaches us how to network because really and truly that's a skill that you learn the more you talk to new people
people and the more you put yourself out there. The second you get to uni, you will hear every single teacher, every single professor placing an extreme importance on the power of networking. Everyone tells you to network. I mean, you hear it a lot. You, you get tired of it. It's okay to feel lost, confused, nervous. I mean, I was there too. And honestly, even today at some time, at some point, I also still feel a little nervous. But the best advice I can give you when it comes to networking is to simply ask questions. If you're feeling shy or nervous, just ask questions because it's the easiest way to ease into it and the best part is that you're not going to be doing much of the talking. You're just going to be listening and when it comes to like, you know, a situation like this, a new like, you know, scary situation like networking, it's best to do things that, you know, will help you ease into it because when you ask the question, you're just there listening and absorbing the information. We as human beings love to talk about ourselves so you're in luck and so if you see a professor professor whom you really like, you really like the way that their career has grown over the years, you know what I mean? Like just simply go up to them and ask them how they got to this point in their career and they will happily tell you and in the process of telling you how they got to where they are today, they are liking you and you are building rapport with them. This is actually a tip that one of my marketing professors gave to me at business school and it is to just simply ask questions and ask people how they got to where they are today because we love to talk about ourselves as they're telling you. How how they've gotten to where they are today. They're liking you in the process and that's helping you build really good rapport with them. But do not do this one thing. Please, please, please do not ask vague questions. Something that sounds like, oh, like, can I please have some advice? Something like that. Do not ask that. These are busy people that you are trying to build rapport with. If the question you ask is vague, then you are going to get a vague response and vagueness doesn't really help anybody. You're wasting your time. They're wasting their time. No no one's getting anywhere. It's better to be as specific as you can be. For example, do not go up to someone and ask them, oh, what advice would you give me as a student? Now, I can see why that may seem as a good question to ask, but it's better to ask something like, oh, I like the idea of being a management consultant. Is there one tip you could tell me that I should, you know, cultivate before pursuing this path. Now, this question is way better to ask than the former because it's specific. It shows that you put thought into what you're asking. It shows that you're proactive. When you ask specific questions, you're going to get specific answers and that's gonna be more useful to you. For example, if you ask this question, then maybe the professor or industry speaker, whoever you're talking to, can actually give you a good response. And then they can even be like, oh, I may know, know someone an XX industry and so on and so forth. And I think you guys get it. Like you guys can see why it's better to ask specific questions. A good book actually to read when it comes to networking, how to learn how to network is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. That book is really good. I didn't read it before my first year, but honestly, I recommend it. It's great. It teaches you how to really talk to new people, how to cultivate relationships. Totally recommend. Are getting jobs easy? No, it's not. Getting a job is not not an easy thing to do. Not in the fashion industry, not in any industry. I receive tons and tons of messages about how it is to get a job after university, after Marangoni. Is it easy? Will companies come to you? And the answer is no. You have to be the one to really go out there and apply to jobs. Companies will not necessarily come to you. The short answer is it really depends on you. Companies don't come to you after graduating. You will have to be the one to really apply and go after it go after what you want. In my case, I had to rigorously apply everywhere, send out countless applications. I also did get approached by some good companies, but the main thing, like the main thing everyone does and everyone should do, and what you should do is to apply by yourself because yes, some companies may approach you here and there, like through LinkedIn and stuff, but the best thing to do is like apply by yourself and apply to jobs you want and not sit and wait for someone to approach you. You have to constantly put yourself out there do not let rejection phase you. It's just part of the process. I received a lot of rejections when I was applying to jobs. I mean, it's part of the process. Everyone goes through it. Don't let it phase you. I think when it comes to jobs, what's important is to have a mindset shift. It's all about mindset because up until university, everything is sort of predictable. You sort of know what your next step is. You have your parents around you. But with jobs, it's not really a predictable space. So it's kind of easy to see. It's clear to see why most 
most people struggle with it because you know it's quite unpredictable it's a scary place to be applying for jobs so what i'm trying to say is that you really need to be in the right mindset you need to be mentally prepared that it's going to be a challenge but that's all it is it's only a challenge it's not impossible at one point applying to university felt like a challenge so this is just another challenge which you will totally 100 conquer you will end up getting a job it's not impossible it just comes down to you know putting yourself out there constantly and constantly sending out job applications this is more of a numbers game but the more you apply the more your chances are to get a good job as long as you have the right mindset and you're constantly putting yourself out there you will 100 land a job and that's for sure there are many platforms out there to look for jobs in fashion like both careers business of fashion careers linkedin is also a good place to apply to and when you're at university it's not like you're alone you have your teachers you have your careers department so you're not completely alone there's always help around remember that if you click the link down below you will get free personal assistance when it comes to finding your student accommodation amber is there to help you and will respond to your query in one hour all you have to do is click the link in the description box down below and that is all my friends thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye